Hello, third graders. We are on list 27. 29 days of school left. Can you believe it? I can't. Like, I'm excited, but I'm like, I'm in shock. So this week, we are starting lesson 27 in spelling. I almost forgot what subject we were talking about. Um, and I want to just introduce your rule and your words real quick for you, okay? Don't laugh at my drawings. Frankie, I thought of you when I was drawing my big head, okay? All right. So the short E sound can be spelled either E or E or E-A. E-A still makes the E sound. So one of our words is center. So my words for the short E and spelled E are in the center of my box. Notice I underlined the short E, and I hope you guys can see that. Let me adjust the screen there. So we have center, shelter, bedspread, member, enter. So those are your short E spelled with just an E. Notice that I circled bedspread because, and I actually circled it over here too, because those are, it, they're in both. So for bed, because it's a compound word, so bed is with an E, but then you have spread on this side that's with an EA. Pretty cool, I like that one. Okay, and then your words that are spelled with an E-A are head, feathers, bread, weather, bedspread, ready, breakfast, heaven, already, instead, health, and heavy. My head is heavy with all those words on it. All right, so your review words from last week are supplies and shadier. And then your memory words for this word are guest and guest. Totally different words, totally different meanings, but they sound the same. So this one, guest, guest, if you enunciate that D, you could hear it. If that helps you to under, figure out the difference, that's fine. Guest. That is, she guessed how many M&Ms were in the jar and then she won the jar because she guessed the uh, right amount. This guest is, um, I'm, a, I'm a guest in your home, right? Who's having me over for dinner soon? I know, I wish we could. Um, can you tell I miss you just, just a bit? Okay, so this is having a guest in your house. So a guest over. So whatever helps you to remember the difference um, there and that's it for this week it's actually pretty easy um, and I hope you guys got a chance to play on Spelling City and play some new games I know some of you were getting bored um, and I hope you got to play around with it and figure out some new adventures on there and I will talk to you guys later bye for now